Cannabis stores were removed from the province's essential workplaces list and officially closed on Saturday night. And now some store owners are calling on the government to reverse its decision, saying cannabis should be considered a part of the public health protection system and pointing to illegal dispensaries now popping up to fill the void. Physical distancing measures are in place inside this Brampton pot shop. Markers on the floor, signs and videos throughout the store. All the safety precautions taken, but still they have been ordered to close. Essentially, the, the government got it right the first time. Cannabis is essential. Initially, cannabis stores were included in the province's essential workplaces list. Premier Doug Ford saying after speaking with medical health professionals, he was told it would further strain the health care system to shut them down. There are people out there with, with addictions. We're there to help them. We're there to support them. But they were suddenly removed this week while LCBOs and beer stores remain open. We really should be looked at as a partner in public health protection in this battle of our lives as the, as the Premier has stated. While the public can still purchase cannabis online, advocates argue it's not as quick or accessible as purchasing it in store, especially with longer waits reported for shipments since the pandemic began. The online only sort of platform it sort of moves the line from outside my store to outside a Canada Post store. We put the question out to City News viewers and there were mixed opinions on whether or not they should remain open. Some arguing this is an important product for people who suffer from anxiety or serious illnesses. Others writing they don't need storefronts, the OCS delivers cannabis products by mail. And many expressing this argument, if the government thinks liquor stores are essential, why are cannabis stores any different? Ontario's Ministry of the Attorney General is seeking an emergency order to allow retailers to offer delivery services or curbside pickup services to customers. The details have yet to be released. The order has been signed by the Lieutenant Governor. It is now law. And this is right in front of Store owners also point to the illegal market now thriving to fill the void. This video shot this morning in front of a cannabis store, someone allegedly dealing from their pickup truck. <laughs> there are currently just over 50 cannabis stores operating in the province and prior to being asked to close, many of them had already reduced hours to better control the crowds and customer flow. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.